Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I've got a customer's lawnmower in the shop here. All it does is you start it up, it revs really slow, then it dies. He says he had it in another shop this spring for full service, but it started doing that shortly after. What I'm going to do is start it up, show you what it's doing, then I'm going to show you in a step-by-step -step video here how to diagnose that and repair it. Okay, so this mower has an auto choke, there's no primer. And once it dies after, it's really hard to get it going again. So if you get this issue, first thing you can do is replace the spark plug. I've already done that. There's no difference. It still keeps doing the same thing. So at this point here, I'm going to check the air filter to make sure it's not plugged. Sometimes people tip their machines over and they get full of oil and gas. And that filter looks very good actually. Yeah, it's not soaked in oil or gas. Now what I've just noticed on the carburetor here or near the carburetor is that the small governor spring is gone. It actually hooks in right here. It's totally gone, it's a tiny spring. So what I'm going to do here, so you can see that better, is take the two bolts off here so the whole bracket comes off. Okay. So here's the auto choke, and here's where the small governor spring should be hooking in. And I'll imagine there's a small hole somewhere for it to go in, uh, usually on the throttle thing or thingy here. Yeah, right down here. So right in the small hole where my pick is, right there. So what I'm going to do is look up the part number for that spring. I do keep them in stock. Now on this machine here, you'll find the engine model, engine type code all here. So you want to do a parts list search for these numbers here. And you should have a total breakdown for all the parts needed. So the part number that comes up for the governor spring is 796484. It's a tiny spring like this. Very, very flimsy and small, but it'll make all the difference. Now the spring has two different ends on it, so I'm going to hook up this end here on the carburetor. So there's that end going in. And I'm going to hook up the spring on the metal part, so I'm just going to grab it here. And I'm going to bring it in like this. And don't pull too hard on these little springs because they can easily get stretched. Now, by the way, if you install a new spring on your machine here like this and it revs too slow, what you do is you grab a pair of pliers and you bend the tab toward the front. If it's revving too high, then you just do the opposite and you bend it toward the carburetor. So typically you'd want these engines to rev at around 3200 RPMs and just basically do it by adjusting the tab here. So let's try it out, see what happens here. And that's all it was guys, just a tiny $5 spring. And the mower's running pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it at the RPMs that it is. It's around 3200. So what was happening when the spring was gone is that the throttle wasn't able to open enough to feed the engine with enough fuel. And it was all dependent on that tiny spring. So what I'm going to do now is just put everything back together and this mower's ready to go back to the customer. And don't forget the breather tube here that goes on the bracket. So it's very easy to strip the threads that these bolts go on, so I'm just going to finish them off with a nut driver. Now 
Now, even though I just started it, I will start it up again to make sure everything's good after putting the air filter and everything back on. And everything's good. So hopefully this video has helped you guys. If you get similar problems, always check the governor spring, air filter and spark plug. And if that doesn't work, then clean the carburetor or replace it. Thanks again for watching guys and have a great day.